Now that we've got our car starting in the right place when we press and pointing in the right direction when we press the green flag, the next thing we want to do is make it move. Now that's an input output that we're going to learn now. Basically because the input is we press the up arrow and the output is the car moves. So to do that we want when the green flag is clicked forever if. So forever if and we go to sensing and we want scratch to detect what key is pressed forever if key and you can drop this down up arrow is pressed and then we choose motion and we choose move so the input is pressing the up arrow the output is move and you can change this number here to alter the speed of the car I'll show you what I mean if I choose move one step I'll click the green flag and the car's moving I let go and it stops if I turn that up, shall we say, to 5, let's deselect it and now try it, it moves quicker. If I turn it up to 10, let's just put it back where we started from, it moves even quicker. So it's about finding a number that, um, it's about finding a speed that's challenging but not impossible. That looks about right for the moment, especially when we're going around corners. Now, we're going to put in some turning input output commands. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a bit of basic on this and then I'm going to let you have a go on your own. Um, and if you need help, then you can watch the hint video, which is the one after this. If you don't need help, great, just skip the next video and move on to the one after that. So basically, you want to make the car turn when you press the left and right arrows and you've got clockwise and anti-clockwise commands here so those are your turn commands and I want you to see if you can apply what you've learned here and make it turn left and right so have a go and if you're still stuck watch the hint video next